Hey guys, today we're looking at two Nighthawk AC1750s. We're gonna unbox these, take them out, and we're gonna set them up for a new client of ours. And we're gonna put them in AP mode. So these were just access, like access points, not actual routers. And we're gonna go through the setup process now through the web interface. All right, just wanted to show you before I show you the web interface, but we have this uh, switch up here, which we have both of the wireless access points plugged into. And you see on the back of each neck gear, we have the uh, internet cable plugged into the internet port because we're not gonna plug into the lane yet because we actually wanna log into these first and do a firmware update. And to do it the easiest way, um, when you log in and we go to the settings and we go to the uh, update firmware um, automatically instead of having to go to a website and download it. So these need to be connected to the, directly to the internet. So we're gonna go ahead and do that now and update the firmware. And then once we do that, we can put it in an AP mode and get these things set up all right, once you connect your computer directly up to uh, Ethernet port 1 to 4, it doesn't really matter which one you use, you're going to get redirected uh, to this page. Once you type in the IP address, which is usually the 192.168.1.1, is usually the default for these routers, but it might be something different uh, if you have a different uh, model brand. And you can just simply do an IP config in your command prompt to see uh, what yours is. And mine is obviously 1.1. So we can close out of that. So we're going to go ahead and hit agree. Probably going to ask us to create a password, maybe. Let's see what it's going to ask us. So yeah, it's going to be detecting um, the uh, internet that we have plugged in. And then it's detecting other things on the network to see if there's any um, conflicts. So it's going to be running through this for a couple minutes here. So we we're getting this error message because we do have it kind of like uh, between another NAT or another router, you could call it. Um, so you probably won't get this screen because you're hooking it directly up to your uh, network or you might not have the internet jack even plugged in. But we're going to go ahead and uh, let me choose and we're going to select access point mode. So go ahead and select on that and then hit next. And we're going to go ahead and disable that. So basically what this is saying, if we can disable our current Wi-Fi setup, so if you already have like a router and, and a gateway Wi-Fi on one uh, already running, it's broadcasting a Wi-Fi or SSID, they're telling you that you should disable that and then uh, put in that SSD and password in here. Uh, or if you can't disable it, just hit no, and then you can just keep the existing Wi-Fi connection. So we're going to change this. So we're going to put in our own SSID here. So we're just, for purposes, we'll just call this home Wi-Fi. And then it's gonna ask us for a uh, network password here. We'll just put this for now. Like I said, obviously generate your own thing. Um, definitely gonna want a strong password. I'm just doing this for testing purposes. So we're gonna hit next. It's going to reboot the router and go into access point mode. All right, and once your router reboots, um, the IP address is going to change from that 192.168.1.1 to whatever uh, of the other routers given the IP address out to. So you might have to do a network scan to find it. <clears throat> and now we found the IP address, and we're going to put in uh, password, password, or you can just put in routerlogin.net, and that should find it too. Go ahead and set our security questions. Hit next. Here's our Wi-Fi information again. It's got idea to save that or print it. So now what it's doing is going and reaching out to Netgear's uh, firmware servers to try to see if there's a new firmware available for this uh, router. And that's what our main thing was to do. So you can see there is a new firmware version that fixes security issues. So this is definitely something you want to do. So we're going to hit yes. And we're going to wait for it to download and install that new version. And we're going to do the same thing to our other router. We're going to put that in access point mode. Um, now, like I said, if you're not setting up access points or you don't know what that is, then usually you're not going to be setting up in access point mode and you're just going to do the standard router mode because that's going to be your main router and it's going to be handing out uh, IP addresses using the DHCP service. 
So doing this is probably not the right uh, way. I'll do another video on how to set up a normal router, just doing it not in the AP mode. Um, but AP mode is basically if you already have a a router or a DHCP server already in place and you're just looking to get Wi-Fi going, and that's what we're doing in this case. So uh, we're putting this in access point mode. And then actually I'll take the other router and put that in the router mode, and then this will connect to that. So then there's one... Uh, access point and then one router to handle the IP addresses and have another Wi-Fi point uh, in the house. Alright, it's done rebooting. We are reloading the page now. And it looks like my access to register. We're gonna do that later. You can see there's an X here. And it looks like there is a uh, an app you can download now. But we're just gonna log in to the actual router. That is not the login. So, uh, what's it? Router. So, we're just going to go to the router and log in here with our information we set up. And there you have it, you guys. We are now in access point mode. So, here we can uh, change our SSID. Um, we can set up a guest Wi-Fi. We can do a lot from here. But let's just go into the advanced section. Always, always, when you get a new um, device, always check the firmware. And then here's our guest area. Because we do want to set up a guest Wi-Fi. And I don't want to do 5G. I would just do 2.4. Because 5G... Um, doesn't have a good enough range, like 2.4 gigahertz. 2.4 gigahertz should reach like the whole house. Uh, 5G, depending on how big your house is, can only reach so far. It's just that technology. Uh, 5G is very hard to get through walls, but 2.4 gigahertz can get through a lot. But the issue with 2.4 is there's a lot of uh, things like, I, th I think it's microwaves and some um, actual phone, like house phones. I know a lot of people don't have those anymore, but there's interference, a lot more interference because there's a lot of a lot more devices that run on 2.4 gigahertz. So that's why 5 gigahertz is sometimes better. It just depends on your environment and what you want to set up. Um, but in this instance, 2.4 is going to be better for me. So that's why I'm doing that. Of course, 5G is going to be a lot faster connection, especially with a newer laptop or a phone that can support that uh, bandwidth. So now that we have that set up, you can see we're going to wireless it up. That's how we can change our, our SSID there. I want to find our firmware. There we go, router update. I just want to check again, make sure we have the latest firmware version. I'm going to hit the check button here. I'm going to let this run. Should be pretty quick. Just want to make sure we have the latest firmware version. And we do. So if you get that, that means you're good. So this one is done. So we're going to log out of here. And now I'm going to hook up the other one and show you how to set it up as a router. And then this one will be connecting into port 1 or 234 on that router. And that router will handle all the DHCP. And this would be strictly just an access point. The second part will be a separate YouTube video, so please go to my channel to find that video. Thank you, and I hope this was helpful.